Good evening. Good evening, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Um, very well, teacher. Thanks for asking and you. Very nice. I'm happy to listen to that. Um, very good. Ready for the class. Okay, very nice. Can you listen to me very well? Yes, teacher. Awesome, very good. Okay, we're going to start the class and we're going to have another day. So this is going to be a, the end of our third week, right? With this model. We are just missing two more in order to finish this uh, intermediate four model. So, um, we're going to work today in some activities that we have in the book, and then we're going to have some time in order to work according to a platform activities that we have to cover, right? Okay, awesome. Um, let me have some questions for you. Um, before we start with the class, we're going to pass, pass the tennis list, and then we're going to have some questions about the activities we were working yesterday, and we're going to have some uh, doubts uh, but the topic we're going to have the time in order to make clear uh, the situations that you may have as a doubt according to the topic right so um, today we're going to start with attendance list so as soon as you listen to your name tell me present okay
Ok. Uh, de la Trinidad González Consuegra. Aminda René Figueroa. Belén Batre García. Present teacher. Awesome. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Debbie Yasmín Girón Ramírez. Present teacher. Very good. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ok. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Ok. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Ok. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Oscar Anulfo Viatoro Herrera. Present. Ok. Rosemary Ventura de Arguello. Rosibel del Carmen López. Present teacher. Ok, very nice. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Sonia Ivette Alvarenga. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present teacher. Ok. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Ok, are there some students that are just uh, getting connected at this moment and didn't hear the name? Me, teacher, Rosemary. Rosemary, ok. Very nice. Another student? No, ok. <clears throat> Very nice. Ok, so how are you today, students? Ready for the class? Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. That's excellent. Okay, what about the topics? Um, uh, how was the topic according to you, the yesterday activities that we were working with a simple past, right? Working with was and were and with did, with verbs. So, um, did you take a time in order to read a little bit more about the, the topic, simple past, or didn't you? Well, in my case, teacher, I uh, obviously I miss I miss the the yesterday class, but for my own, I will practice uh, not only the the simple past and also the simple present too. So okay. that is my case. Uh, I think that I told you that I have a person that uh, I can talk to, uh, a little bit to practice in order to to get more confident about it. So I was practicing in, and it's very sad because in my case, uh, when I was younger, I it thought that the simple present is the most easiest. So in my case, I put all my force to handle the simple pass. So now, <laughs> I already handled the simple past, but in my case, I have to practice the simple present because that is my biggest <laughs> problem now. So, yeah, <laughs> it's like uh, karma. <laughs> yeah, okay, very nice. So you, you, you took the one that you think was a difficult one, and then for you, it's not that one that difficult, it's simple present that difficult for you, right? Yeah, exactly. And it's very funny because... Now I realize that uh, it's like, for example, uh, realize that um, the most is the easiest things. The easiest. The easiest things is like, oh, it doesn't matter, I will handle it. But uh, of course not. Well, in, in, in this case, maybe it's, it's not possible because you have to handle everything. And yeah, now I... <laughs> so, estoy sufriendo las consecuencias. <laughs> okay, very nice. Good. Awesome. Okay, what about the rest? Uh, did you take a time in order to read, read a little bit uh, according to the topic? Or are you going to do it on the weekend? In my case, teacher, um, I have a little problem with the use uh, incorrect way the, the wasn't work. Okay. 
I thought the dedicated time, but uh, this day was a uh, little uh, busy. Busy, yes, busy. Yes. busy. Uh -huh. Okay. A little busy. My lunch was uh, uh, kind of uh, more uh, more uh, later than, than usually they took. Um, and I don't have much time for, for a study, but my compromise is in the weekend. Is to find some exercise or do something in, in YouTube for uh, increase my knowledge in that in that uh, in that part. Oh, uh -huh, yes. In that part. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice, excellent, good. Of course, um, what we what happened is that we are like trying to uh handle a situation that maybe we were confused right because uh yeah. we maybe use wasn't verb but we are not uh, verbs but it's not simple past is past progressive so that's one that we're accustomed to right but yes. we're going to get accustomed according to the practice yes right. okay very nice excellent um let me listen to uh, aminda how are you aminda good evening Hello, teacher. How was your day? How was your activity? The one that you had to present it today? Fine. <laughs> fine. Good? Yeah. That, that was fine. Okay, awesome. Very nice. Very good. Okay. Um, Aminda, what is one of the most difficult parts that you feel uh, in order to use simple past? Maybe to understand the structure. The structure. Yeah. Yes. Because I forget and when <laughs> when I speak, I forget the structure and maybe the the, the people don't understand me. Okay. I want yeah. to say. Okay. Maybe people can uh, get confused with the sentence that you arrange right at the moment of speaking. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, okay. So it means it's a matter of practice, right? You need to practice a little bit more right? according to the speaking practice. Yeah. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, uh, Rose, Mary, what about you? What do you think is one of the most difficult parts that you have in Simple Past? In Simple Past, maybe remember the, the easy thing to like with what subject you use where with what subject you use mm -hmm. was the composition when you use where in songs like where the place <laughs> yeah the ws question right yeah exactly and, and when you're writing and one second you realize oh no it's a, it's a big mistake but songs like similar uh, some cases like that actually it's complicated try it to to put it in um, in grammar sentences because when we are more come on yeah familiarized familiarize or you get like in touch with the topic especially when you speak you make the sentences without thinking too much the 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 grammar thing and the composition but when you has to write a sentence you actually look the mistakes that you more common make when you are trying to speak or you are trying to write something yes of course yeah it is uh, what happens is with that when you write something, you make sentence in a written form. So for you, it's easy because you have no pressure, right? Uh, according to the one that you have when you speak, because you have uh, to be active and to answer at the moment quickly. So you don't you don't have to be like be thinking too much because you need to answer to another person. Or you need to produce a word, a phrase, or expression to another person as soon as possible. So that's why uh, when you speak, it's kind of difficult because uh, you have no time in order to think. You just have to produce, right? 
Yes, in my case, I feel it's more easy to speak than write because when I write, I overthink the the, the situation. So you think it's easiest for you to speak? Yes. Okay, awesome, very nice, good. Okay, let me uh, think. Do you remember the activity we had yesterday at the end of the class? Yes? Sorry, can you repeat? Do you remember the last activity we made yesterday at the end of the class? Yes, make five sentences with was and and where and five sentences with I don't remember with what, but <laughs> <laughs> you did it, but you do remember yeah. with what? Yeah, I tried you see, to you see, to you see the, the sentences. <laughs> Yes, it's we did. Yes, it's we did. Uh -huh. Five sentences we did and five sentences we was and were, right? Yes, I find my sentences right now. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's a question. Yes, and did and, and was and were. Okay, awesome. Very nice. Okay, very good. Uh, we're going to work with the answer of the questions, right? So, but what we're going to do? We're going to be working in pairs. Okay, I'm gonna give you some minutes in order to go in pairs. You're going to, the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to uh, make questions, okay, to your partner. But you don't have to show him or her the questions. You just have, you just have to speak, okay? If, for example, if I work with Rosibel, so Rosibel is going to ask me the questions but I cannot see the question that she has. I just have to answer according to what I hear, okay? And then I'm going to answer her to uh, the question, right? Because I have to answer. After that, she's going to uh, finish the questions and then I'm gonna start asking to her my questions. And she's going to ask her my question, but she's not going to be able to watch my question. So it's going to be a matter of speaking. At the end of the practice, okay, at the, at the end of the practice, then you're going to present to your partner the questions and you're going to check if you understood the equations that she made to you, okay? And uh, vice versa, okay? So it's an activity, we're going to be involved in listening and speaking. And after that, we're going to check if we're able to understand the language at the moment of speaking and if we produce clear the answer, right? I don't know if you have an equation according to that. No? Teacher, in my case, I just have to answer the question, right? Because I don't have any questions. Mm. Okay, you, you don't have the questions. Okay, very nice. Um, who else done? Well, let me, I think, uh, Vanessa, do you have the questions? Not sure I can, I didn't stay in the, the second hour of the class yesterday. Okay, yes, Belen, Vanessa, Oscar, do, you don't have the, the questions too, right? No, teacher, no. Okay, I'm working but... now. You're working I... right now? Yes. Oh, oh, oh good. Where, where do you work? Uh, I stay in my house, but uh, I attend the incident in my company. Ah, ah okay. Yes. Okay, very nice. Okay, so uh, let me know who else doesn't have the the, uh, the questions in order to push you uh, together. I think just Vanessa Belen. Jerry, you have the questions, right? Yes. Okay. Bernabe, do you have the questions? Yes, teacher, but I'm I'm trying. I can participate for this uh, first hour. Okay, awesome, very good, awesome, awesome. Okay, Domingo, you don't have the the questions, right? Or yes? Oh, I. I, I am working. I I Okay, okay. Yeah, Mariano. Eh, teacher, yo no estaba cuando pasó lista. 
No. <laughs> ah, okay, <laughs> okay. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> okay, but you have the questions, yes, Mariano? Yes, sure. Okay, very nice. Okay. Okay, very nice. Now I'm going to arrange the ones that have the questions and the one that not. The ones that don't have the questions are going to work in pairs and you're going to be just uh, speaking, okay? Ever, you don't have the question too, right? No. Hello, teacher. You don't have the questions, right? Yeah, I got the, a few, a few. For did I get a complete, but I wasn't where I got twice. Yes, no, uh, I try to a, a question about this. So you you had the you have some questions about what and where. Yes, yes, up here. Okay, 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 very nice, good. So right now I'm going to arrange the groups because when I have this situation, I have to make these organized. Yes. So, uh, according to your um explain ah oh my god <laughs> de acuerdo a lo que he dicho verdad nosotros tenemos que estar como practicando el was where did something like that right yeah you have to practice about that okay okay give me a second i'm trying to arrange according to the ones that practiced yesterday mariano you are connected twice está conectado dos veces mariano Mariano, yes, Mariano, can you listen to me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, you're connected twice, right? Yes, me llamé conecté de una. Ah, vaya, ok, ok. Give me a chance. Ok. Okay, piano, yes, I mean that, yes, Debbie, and, okay, six, okay, if you have an equation, just let me know, okay? Okay, to okay. okay, very nice. Debbie, ahorita la voy a enviar al grupo. Se conectó de otro dispositivo, ¿verdad? Teacher me sacó. Es que está, aparece conectada dos veces ahorita. Pero no estoy conectada dos veces. Me sacó de la otra sesión. Ok, la voy a enviar ahorita nuevamente. Ok. Ok. ¿Le llegó la invitación? Teacher. Yes. Are you there? Uh, Roberto is driving right now. 
Uh, yes. I have to, to, to stay in, in, in the activity. Ah, okay, give me a second. I'm going to put you with another group, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, very nice. Roberto, let me know when you're ready, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, very nice. Be safe. Thank you. Uh, yes, yes, they did. And um, I don't know uh, if you want to uh, make uh, uh, one uh, response more large. Uh, you can add uh, another uh, uh, words or, or context about, about this, this question, no? Uh, teacher, hey, teacher. Uh, Yes. The activity, the activity contains in a uh, only make uh, to the other uh, uh, partner the question, and the other partner answers this question. Yes, you're going only to practice. Yes, you're going to make the questions to to another to your classmate, and then you're going to be asked to. Okay. okay. Okay, but, but different questions. Um, and, and we're going to elaborate the the answer about the, 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 the question, no? Uh, you you at the uh, the first part you have just to speak and then you're going to it's show free. what was the question in order to check if the the question was correctly answered. Okay. The answer the answer is that will be free. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Trini. It's, it's like that. Uh, it's like uh, explain. Sorry. Uh, I don't know if you want to uh, uh, start with you. Le hago la pregunta yo. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, oh, you want to answer my question? Uh, did they in a meeting yesterday? What is, what is meter? Sorry? What is meter? Meeting. Meeting. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. Okay. I was. Um, I was. I was living in the class. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that uh, you need to use uh, the same auxiliary uh, for the question? Uh, I use the for the auxiliary, did, and you can I use uh, 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 a short a short answer. Uh, you can say uh, yes, they did, okay. or something like that. Okay. 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 I oh, know. I don't know, teacher. Can you can you correct me about this? Yeah, you have to take the time in order to. Um, uh, if you ever you told me you have some questions, right? Made. Okay. Okay. okay so perfect. You, you're going to ask the that question to Adela, and Adela is going to answer. Okay, just speaking, and then vice versa. Okay, okay, she's okay. going to make one question that she has, and she's going. You're going to answer. At the end of, when you finish all the questions done and the answers done, you're going to present the, qu the questions in order to check if you understood if the question was the one that you heard and the answer was correctly, okay? Okay, okay, Trini. And then, and you wanna uh, make the one the question for me? Uh, we're doing it one -on one-on-one and I, you're doing one question and we are. Is the 
Yes. Is the age X. It's kind the, of X. Uh -huh, the yeah, uh, age, but uh, only put in the in the in the I I said in the bread. Uh huh. Yeah. In the bread and one minutes or two minutes is is ready and <laughs> putting a container <laughs> and, and go. Yeah, I usually spend five minutes in that. It's not good ready to go. To you. <laughs> uh huh, ready to go. <laughs> but um, I, I, the, oh. yeah, I, teacher, como se dice, me he acostumbrado. Mm -hmm. I, teacher. How do you say me he acostumbrado? My, my usual customer, tal vez no sé. How do you say no what? <laughs> <laughs> me he acostumbrado. Ah, I get used to. I guess used to. I got I, used to. Oh, uh, oh, I'm used to. I, I used to. Uh, I am used to. Uh -huh. Okay. Como decir, estoy acostumbrado o suelo hacer uh -huh. esto. I'm used to. I am used, used to. Yes, yes, that mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. I used to not take a breakfast. No, take a breakfast, no. Eh, eh, drink a, a coffee a only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> The last question, did you work this day? Yes, <laughs> I, I work, work, work at this year, this year, this day. I work this day and yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> did you uh, did you buy some food in the supermarket uh, on the weekend? What? I don't listen. <laughs> did you buy some food in the supermarket on the weekends? Buy some food. Some food. Did you ah, buy some food, some food uh -huh, in the supermarket on the weekends? Yes, I buy uh, a food for the lunch. <laughs> I buy? Are you sure? I, I buy, buy. Both. I, Both. 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 Mm -hmm. Aha, aha. Both. Burps, burps. <laughs> <laughs> I bought uh, a food for the lunch of the weekend of the week. Were you in the restaurant? Yes, I was in the restaurant. Were they in the party in the party uh, yesterday? No, they weren't. They were in the church today, yesterday. Was he at home uh, last night? Yes, he were at home this night. Okay. So is your change? Or your time? Okay. Was the game exciting? Was the game? Was the game exciting? Mm, game exciting, but what kind of game? The <laughs> I don't understand the question. Sorry. <laughs> it's it's like if he. I don't know. Um, last night was a um, soccer play, and I asked you if the play was exciting. If you were there, for example. 
Ah, ok. Um, eh, de, sería, quiero ver. The game wasn't exciting. The, the game was boring. Ok. Um, where, where for the holidays? For the last holidays it was, I don't know, vacations. August vacations. Repeat me the, the, the question, please. Where, where, where for the holidays? Where, where were the holidays? Okay. Yes. Where, where, who? Uh, you need a subject. Where, were for the holidays? Okay, who? Where were you? Ah, oh, yes. Okay, now it's clear. Okay. So I um, I was in the lake. Lake. Okay. Did Did he like smoke? Like. Like. Mm, no. I did. Entonces ahorita las tengo que hacer como que fueran para usted, no para como las escribí. Uh, no, solo la, la, la actividad es que yo, yo eh, alcanzo a entender qué es lo que escribió, sin importar si va dirigida a mí, ¿verdad? Ah, ok, es que ahí me confundí. <risa> ok. Did you have an appointment? Did you have an appointment? Yes. Mm, yes. I have. Yes, I yeah, but that is understandable. Yeah. It's too. For you have to. You can listen to music <laughs> or or watch your favorite series in English. That no, helps me a lot. No, I can't. I For try. I yeah. try to to see it. To, to mm -hmm. follow this this ad, advice, but I, I don't know. I can't. I For example, can't. what is your favorite series? For me, it's a series that is it's a cartoon series called um, Gravity Falls, and I I am watching this series in English, but I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I can't with subtitles <laughs> or without subtitles. Yeah, with sub subtitles because I um it's difficult to me the listening and maybe you can try <clears throat> okay the, the point is that some I want to give up this <laughs> no you have you don't have to give up and the point is that for example if some series or cartoons that have a different uh try to uh how can I say uh, tr they use a different mood to understand or using the the, the English because they have phrases, different phrases to in order to make funny things. So in my case, for example, I love um, the Big Bang Theory, for example. And I have another series that helps me a lot that it's the new adventures of Christine. So maybe you can try to see uh, you, sorry, you can try to watch some series about daily routines and the vocabulary is easiest that uh, that all are serious that for example I don't know in a movie for example the, the vocabulary is so expensive for me in my case so I try to I don't know watch I, uh, uh, the exercise is uh, is for it's not for fitness for me, but it's for, for health. healthy. Keep the uh -huh, for health. Uh, running is is good. It's good nice. in 
also also help to to the fitness too. You <laughs> but tried. this is the second. The second. Mm -hmm. Yes, I tried. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, me. Yes. Did you visit um, his? Did you visit his grandparents? Did you visit your grandparents last weekend? Grandparents, but uh, no, I didn't because my grandparents uh, is not more here in the air. Hey, teacher, we finish with the questions. Okay, but did you share the questions and did you check if you were correct? Um, we think it was okay. Do you think? <laughs> or, or it was? Uh, I'm not sure, but, but I think that's fine. <laughs> yeah, okay, very nice. Good. Re uh, did you use the verbs? In past, in the affirmative statement? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. When you were talking with was and where, you were talking about some, um, uh, for example, place you, where you're talking about uh, a description of how something was. It was uh, funny, what's boring, and what's uh, motivating, what's uh, good, it was, I don't know. You were trying to use uh, adjectives in order to talk about? In some sentences, yes. In other ones, the question was closed and you only has to answer, yes, I was. Or... Why, why only answer, yes, I was? Give me an example of a question. I don't remember all the questions. Okay. Can you repeat? I mean, the one of your your sentences that I was okay. answer only, and just okay. Were you in the restaurant? Okay. Yes, Were I you? was. Yeah, that's your answer. Yes, but... I was in the restaurant. Ah, okay, so good. Okay, remember you have two options: your answers and the full answer. Right, the full answer is the the time when you answer everything according to the question they made. To you, right? And the short answer is okay. It's correct that you can answer yes, I was or or no, I wasn't. It's it's good, but remember that it's very good to learn the full answer too because it's the most difficult part, right? But okay, we're going to the main session right now. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Teacher. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Amanda, for the conversation. Okay, very nice. Excellent. So how was it? Was it good? Was it easy? Or was it not? I think... It was great. <laughs> okay. What, what do you think, Aminda? I think what's better than yesterday. Oh, better than yesterday. Good. Okay, that sounds perfect. Okay. 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 Walter said it was great. Okay, very nice. Okay. For me, the same, same comment, Aminda. Ah, okay, better than yesterday. So it means practice, mm -hmm. right? Yesterday of practice yes. and you feel better, right? 
Yes. Okay, very nice. Good. Okay, what about the rest? Mm -hmm. Debbie, how was it? Sorry, teacher. Um, I'm a little confused with the with, with the la respuesta, ¿cómo se dice? Perdón? With the answers. With the answers. Okay, why were you confused? Uh, if the answer is yes, it's only uh, did. No, ya no sería did, ¿verdad? Uh, it depends on the, the, of the tense are you using. Um, uh -huh. Depende de la oración que usted utilice. Okay. okay. Let me check here. Okay. Um, let me check. Uh, let me listen to Vanessa. Vanessa, imagine that I have this question. Did you go to the gym last week? Uh, oh. I want you to answer this in a affirmative way. Yes, I went to the gym last week. Okay, yes, I went to the gym last week. Okay, very nice. Negative? No, I did, didn't or did not go to the gym last week. Okay, very nice. Good. These two answers are called long answer, full answer, or complete answers, right? Son llamadas de esta manera, respuestas completas, respuestas largas, ¿verdad? Okay. Teacher. Yes. Uh, in the in the in the first in the affirmative Mm -hmm. uh, it's correct to use, for example, yes, I did. I went to the gym last week or redundance, apply redundance. When you mention, yes, I did, I went to the gym last week. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm going to explain right now. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Very nice. These two are called full answer, right? Or complete answers. Okay. If I don't want to answer the complete, I can just say, Yes, I did. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, I can answer in these two ways. Okay, but I just want you to make something. I know this is the easiest one to answer, right? It's the easiest. But it's really important to handle with this one because it's going to help you in order to understand the, the full uh, question. Because maybe you didn't understand completely the question and you can say, oh, yes, I did. Or in order to finish the conversation or to answer the conversation, you will say, no, I didn't. But maybe you didn't understand clear what was the question about. So when you answer complete, so you are showing that you answered everything correct, right? Like, okay, very nice. At this moment, because we're having practice. But at the moment that you uh, start like, trying to get in uh, familiar with the topic and you handle simple past correctly, you can answer in this way. Okay. Por el momento, ¿verdad? Ustedes pueden utilizar la, la short answer. Está bien. Pero por el momento, me interesaría que lo practiquemos completo. ¿Verdad? Porque la short answer es fácil. Solo digo, yes, I did or no, I didn't. Y me libro de decir todo lo demás que venía en la pregunta. Pero el hecho de contestar completo, en este momento me ayuda a mí para desarrollar mi, mi listening skill. ¿Verdad? La parte auditiva. Y también la parte de la comprensión, ¿verdad? The comprehension about the question. Una cosa es escuchar, pero hay otra cosa es comprender que lo que escuché está para mí comprensible, right Entonces, para así luego yo producir una respuesta. Entonces, yo puedo contestar de esta manera. 
Ahora, cuando yo a esto, ¿verdad? Le, le agrego, por ejemplo, a esta oración. Acá. La misma equation la voy a copiar. Y la voy a poner acá abajo. Y le pongo, por ejemplo, acá. Why did you go to the gym last week? Cuando yo acá ya cambio esta equation. Por ejemplo, let me listen to Walter. Okay, Walter, if I ask you, why didn't you go to the gym last week? La pregunta puede ser de yes or no? No, the, the answer is a reason. Good. In this case, we cannot answer yes or no because the another people is trying to ask him to me a reason why I didn't go to the gym. So I have to give an explanation, right? So I cannot use a yes or not statement. So I need to be careful with that. Okay, so imagine that I'm gonna ask you to you, Walter, an explanation. What can be the explanation that you can use at the moment? Uh, because I need it. Uh -huh. um, because I am fat today. <laughs> because I need it, because I'm fat today. Okay, very nice. Good. Okay. That's one answer. Imagine I want to Aminda to give me an answer about this one. What can be the answer? Okay, what do you why did you go to the gym last week? Okay, what can be the answer that you can have up for this question? Uh, okay. I I was. Mm -hmm. I was uh, I was to the gym because uh, I like to do exercise or I like Okay. I was <laughs> I confused. I, I was to the, I was to the gym. <laughs> Okay, remember, all the time you have a question with why, so you're going to start the answer with because. Because, okay. Okay, okay, and then you need to check. Do you have a verb in the question? Yes. Which one uh, is the verb? Go to. Go, okay. Go. Okay, so in the affirmative statement, the case, because you're going to give a affirmative statement, what is the path of the bear go? It's gone? No, that's the past participle. The simple past. When. 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 Ah, when. ah okay, very nice. So now arrange the statement. Give me the answer. Okay. Why do you that was because because I went. Okay, no, no, no. okay, very nice. Now give me the answer, but first you need to give an explanation. Because when like the exercise. Okay, very nice. Good. That's what it, that's what it changes. When you ask a question with why, it's not necessary to answer with the simple pass of the verb. You need to, you can change about everything. Cuando tenemos una pregunta con el why, a veces no es necesario contestar con el verbo que tenemos acá. ¿Verdad? Porque le pregunta, mm. ¿por qué fue al gym la semana pasada? Ah, Walter dijo, because I needed, porque lo necesitaba, ¿verdad? El verbo no ten, la pregunta no tenía un verbo needed, pero como necesitaba dar una explicación y Walter dijo, bueno, well, yo lo necesitaba. Because I needed. Because I'm fat, dijo Ryan. Así me dijo, ¿verdad, Walter? Sí. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, very nice. Entonces, cuando ya tenemos este tipo de WH question, en este caso de why, tengo que entender y explicar eh, 
claramente, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es o dar la razón por la cual yo hice o fui o organicé algo? Ah, ok. But it's no important the time of the verb. Mm, no, the time not. To use that verb, exactly, that you have an equation. Ah, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, yes, Belén. Yes, teacher. Um, but it's only with the why or it's about all the WH question? Uh, no, not exactly with all of them. Just with why is kind of different because you can change the usage. Because it's and for an, example, with the what? With, with which one? What? What? Um, okay, for example, what do you... Uh, Eat, for example, for lunch. For lunch, okay. Okay, in the in that case, you can use the verb because I ah uh, I ate, and then you start. I ate potato with rice and chicken. I don't know, said something like that, right? Okay, in oh, that okay. case. Yes, in that case, you can you need to use the verb in past. Ah, of course, okay, but, that, but, but the verb that you have in the question with why is different. It's not necessary to use uh, the verb. You, you need to give a reason because I I felt sick and so the doctor told me to go to the gym. Okay, you're giving a reason. Uh, okay, now I understand. Thank you, teacher. Okay, very nice. The rest. Now is it clear? Yes, teacher. Ok, very nice. Entonces, recordemos que tenemos preguntas de sí y no que son como estas. Y miren la misma. Did you go to the gym last week? La misma pregunta, pero ya con un WH cambia totalmente. ¿Verdad? Pero si ustedes se fijan, es la misma. Miren, did you go to the gym last week? Es la misma que está arriba. Nada más que acá ya tengo el WH y me le cambia la forma. Right? Ok, very nice. Ahora, ¿se recuerdan de que vimos? Yes. Uh, my, answer, my question was uh, in the uh, long answer, uh, you put only yes, uh, but in my in my mind, remember, remember it, uh, the long question, long answer, sorry, is yes, I did. And the Spanish one is, I went to the gym last week, o sea, but you put only yes. My question was, is yes, I did. Is correct, including the, in the long answer after I, the Spanish one, I went to, to the gym last week. No, uh -huh. no, in, in the, long, the long answer is this one, right? The one is smart. Uh, yeah, but it's, oh. it's not necessary to include yes, I did. No. And include, I went to the, oh, okay. okay. No, no, just uh, to um, arrange the statement and like it is, right? Just yes, okay. and then the affirmative statement. No, and the, the negative statement. But in the short answer, yes, you just need yes, and I did. No, I didn't. Okay, very nice. Okay, now the rest of the class, do you have any question? No, it's clear, right? Ok, yes, very nice. Ok, vamos ahora a escuchar. Um, let me listen to Rose. Rose, ok. Uh, can you make uh, one of the questions that you have? Ok. Ok. Let me ok, but okay. Be before you do it, before you do it, choose one of the classmates. Uh, hit in the group that you want to uh, hear the answer. But not the ones that you work for, another ones. Okay. Belen. Okay, Belen. Very good. Okay. Okay, Belen. Did you go to the supermarket yesterday? Um, no, I didn't. I want full answers. No, no short answer. Okay. I want full answer. Okay. Uh, But, but I have, well, I can, uh, o sea, puedo inventar. <laughs> no. Oh, it's just according to the question. 
in, in this moment, uh, it's a yes, no question. You have to first answer the question. Yes, okay. I went to the summer or no, blah, blah, blah. And then give an extra explanation. Ah, okay. Um, no, I didn't go to the supermarket. Okay. Oh, now, if you want to give an extra explanation, right now you can do it. Ah, okay. No, I didn't go to the supermarket because I was tired. Okay. Very nice. Good. Si ustedes quieren dar una explicación extra cuando les hacen una pregunta y eso no, Primero tienen que contestar la pregunta que les han hecho, right? Okay. okay lo, puede, lo pueden hacer en short answer, good. Pero por el momento no quiero short answer porque lo que necesito es que manejemos bien los verbos en pasado en afirmativa y lo manejemos bien en, en negativa, ¿verdad? Si con el auxiliar cambio o no cambio, ok. Pero el, el, el short answer no porque ese es el más fácil de todos, ok. Entonces, después que ustedes contestan la pregunta que les hacen, ustedes pueden dar una información extra del por qué hicieron algo o del por qué no. Pero primero te necesitamos contestar, ¿verdad? La pregunta que me hicieron. Por ejemplo, si me dicen, eh, desayunaste, ¿verdad? Did you eat breakfast? Ok, y yo quiero decir que porque no tenía tiempo, no pude ser. Ok, primero tengo que decir, oh, no, I didn't eat breakfast because I didn't have time. ¿verdad? Primero contesto que no desayuné porque no tuve tiempo. Right. Entonces, yo necesito hacer eso. Right. Si quiero dar extra información, primero necesito contestar la pregunta que me dieron. Pero en ese es el caso cuando hacemos preguntas de yes or no. Que las preguntas de yes or no no llevan WH, ¿verdad? Okay. Ya, ya, ya cuando llevo una WH, ya yo recibo una pregunta que va más dirigida hacia algo que quiero saber específicamente. Very nice. Ok, Mariano, uh, can you choose one of your classmates and make us a question? But not the ones that you work for. Another one. Ok, ya. Uh, ever? Ever. Ok, very nice. Okay. Ever, ever? Well, here. Ok, very nice. Now make make the question to Ever, Mariano. Okay, Ever, did you visit uh, your grandfather, your grandparent last weekend? No, I didn't. I don't. I took work uh, the twice days of the weekend. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. You didn't, right? Okay. You didn't what? She worked. I she worked. Did. She worked. Okay. Full answer. Only full answer ever. Okay. I didn't visit my parents on the last weekend because I took uh, work the twice a day. The two days. The two days. The two days. Okay. Yeah. When we use twice, eh, hablamos cuando lo utilizamos para decir dos veces, ¿verdad? Ah, okay. Dos veces o tres veces, ¿verdad? Pero, pero cuando vamos a decir dos días, sería two days. Two days, okay. Okay, very good, thank you, very nice. Okay, Adela, can you uh, choose one of your classmates that made a question? Okay, teacher. Okay. But, but choose one of the classmates that was not working with you, okay? Rosibel. Okay, Rosibel, very good. Did you go to the excursion to the beach? No, I didn't go. Uh, because I... Because I don't remember the the remember the the the, the day the of or excursion. You don't or you didn't. Oh, um, sorry. Uh, I I didn't. I didn't know the day the the excursion. Ah, okay. Yes, the day of the trip. Okay, the day of the trip. Okay, very nice, good, excellent. 
Okay. Vanessa, can you uh, make a question to one of your classmates? Can you choose one of your classmates, but not the one you were working with? Vanessa, yes. Hey, um, so, to Salvador. Salvador, okay, very nice. Okay, Salvador, did you eat pupusas on a weekend with your family? Yes, I did. I ate pupusas uh, the Sunday at, at night. On Sunday, okay, very nice. Yeah, no es necesario que diga yes, I did, solo yes, I ate pupusas, ¿verdad? Cuando lo va a hacer completo, yes, so, I ate pupusas. Yes, yes, ah, okay, uh -huh. thank you, mister. Okay, very nice. Cuando son short answers, sí, ¿verdad? Yes, I did. Or no, yes, I didn't. I did. uh -huh. Okay. Okay, very nice. Excellent. Now, let me listen to Sonia Yvette. Sonia, are you there? Okay, let me listen to Roberto. Can you choose oh, one no. of your... Oh, yes, Sonia. Are you there, right? Sorry, teacher. I am I am joining to the class in my phone. And oh, okay. I dejé la laptop en la oficina. Wait, I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Um one one of the questions you had. De las que de las que hizo ayer. Yes. <laughs> Dice que dejó su laptop en la oficina. Ah, oh, no le dio cuenta. No, okay, very nice. Okay, very good. Uh, let me listen to... Okay, David, can you help me? Por Neken, ¿verdad? <laughs> no, no. Es que, es que todos okay. tienen que participar, ¿verdad? I know, teacher. A mí me gusta molestar. <laughs> okay, very nice. Uh, uh, can you choose one of your classes, but not the ones that you were working with? Uh, let me see. Um, Carlos. Okay. Uh, did you have appointment? Carlos. He's sleepy. Okay, can you choose another one? Okay. Um, I don't know. Uh, Leticia. Leticia. No. Can you choose another one? Yes, 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 yes. Let this there. Okay. Teacher, do you have a point? Which one? What is the main point? Appointment. Appointment, appointment is, es cuando tiene una cita, pero es una cita, ¿verdad? En el caso con un doctor o para, Medical. por ejemplo, con un abogado para algún trámite, ¿verdad? Son para casos formales. No, oh. cita, no citas de pareja, ¿verdad? Ok. What was the question complete? Did you have appointment? Appointment? Uh, yes, I yes I did. Mm, I have have appointment mm, in my work. Repeat, repeat one more time. Uh, so yeah, mm, I did a, mm, I did. Mm, oh, sorry. Did you have an appointment? Okay, Seria, yes. Yes I, yes, I did. I have an appointment in my job. Ah, you had an appointment in your job. Okay, very nice. Good. Yes, I had an appointment in your job. Very good. Awesome. Okay, uh, let me listen to the last one. Okay, Aminda. Can you choose one of your classmates in order to make a question? Um, okay, let me see who is available.
Eh, Vanessa. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Vanessa is ready. <laughs> okay. Do you drink a coffee in the morning? No, I didn't drink coffee in the morning because I don't like coffee. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> I don't know, teacher, but I, I don't like it because it's, it's like agrio. I don't know if you say sore. It's sore. <laughs> it's sore. Oh. What can you I, and I'm so sweet, teacher. Oh. What can you can drink? drink. <laughs> what, what kind of drink uh, uh, usually? Uh huh. What kind of drink do you usually drink? <laughs> Hello, hello. <laughs> okay. El, I'm sorry, my computer got frozen. I don't know if it's the internet or I don't know. I could give the class. My God, I have problems with the internet again. It's getting like accustomed. Okay. It's about the, the weather teacher. Yes, it is. It is. Okay. Um, Vanessa, I was just listening when you told me it was sure. And, and Minda asked you, what is the drink that you used to drink? <laughs> I used to drink hot chocolate with milk. <laughs> Not um, hot chocolate or, or tea. Okay, but, but you can... Or nothing. <laughs> but, but you can Only make water. coffee sweet. Huh? But you can make coffee say? sweet. Coffee with? No, you can make coffee sweet. Uh, no. no, no, I don't like it. I don't like coffee in general. I don't know. Oh, okay, good. Okay, I drink coffee because uh, sometimes when I'm I'm like down, if I drink a, a coffee, a strong coffee, I get a little bit of like with energy and able to mm -hmm. hand up with the rest of the activities that I have to do. But it's like an accustomed, okay. right? And of yeah, course, I don't I like the, 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 I don't know what to say, sour, flavor, flavor, no flavor, flavor es también, oh, yes, I don't like, the, pensé que era solo para, no sé, la comida, no sé, <laughs> no, flavor, or puede ser también taste, como sabe, ¿verdad? ah, I don't like the taste, okay, but, um, of course, I write coffee with bread, because it's something normal, <laughs> okay, very nice, students, Okay, it's really interesting for me to listen to you talking because that's what I want, right? To listen to you talking. And I know we, uh, by the time we get practice, we're going to get used to in order to the tense. But right now we have to work in activity about the book. So right now we are going to be working in activity because it's the last one that we have according to, the, to this one. So we're going to go, do you remember when we, we were like working with third party logistic partner, right? Third party logistics, sorry. And we were trying to make a checklist if we were we were like in order to get uh, agree with yes or no according to what the statements were there, right? So you had to read it and you were like trying to get the correct answer according to you, okay? And some, some of you asked for not, some of you asked yes, but it was uh, your own point of view, right? Okay, right now you're going to go and in this part you have a chart. So you're going to work with your partner and you're going to create 12 statements that you're going to make as a checklist in uh, according to the third party logistic. So you're going to make a uh, 12 statements according uh, to that one and you're going to uh, let you know, okay, uh, in the checklist uh, if you're going to answer with yes or no according to the statements you make there. Is it clear? Sentence and de cualquier cosa. <laughs> no, no. According to the third party logistic, 
three party logistic. No, no, no. Pero no tiene relación con el anterior. Con eso. Con, um, ok, no, no me vayan a copiar esto porque. Ajá, esto, a eso ah, voy yo. <risas> aquí es, ya lo manché. Ok. <risas> ok. Um, tiene relación en el sentido que es parecido, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, ustedes aquí tenían esta y ustedes decidían, ¿verdad? Si decían yes o decían no. Ok. Entonces, ustedes ahora me van a hacer eh, una checklist en equipo eh, y me van a hacer acá, por ejemplo, eh, 12. Y van a pensar eh, que el otro equipo me va a contestar si creen que es correcto o no, si creen que es correcto o no, etcétera, ¿verdad? Ok, ¿es it clear? Yes, teacher. Ok, very nice. Uh, los voy a mandar, ahora no van a ir en pareja, los voy a poner en, en equipos de tres, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, very nice. Let me check right now. Ok. Mm -hmm. Mm Okay, there we go. Hello, hello. Hello, are you working with activity? Hello. Okay. Disculpe. Hola, hola. Se va a crear una lista. Yes. Uh, haciéndose, haciendo oraciones. Con una checklist para que se pueda contestar si sí o no es importante para un trip party logistic. Ok. Perfecto. Okay. Okay. Eh, en español, vamos a pensar en español y luego en inglés. Entregan las... La logística. It's the company that distri distribu distribution the, the products from, from the manufacturer to, to the customer or something like that. And this is, this is the company or something like that, the three practical logistics partner so we have to make a checklist to consider higher i think <laughs> the 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 third part or just partner 
put the example of the class of the past the past homework. This is the example. There are financial stable with a long history of social cooperation. They have great references. They have this disaster recovery plan. They offer course docking cup paper. They offer freight forwards and services. They have experience in the countries in which you do business. And they have lived. So we have to make some sentence algo así <laughs> parecido a esto um, uh, for example I don't know they have they have the lower cost, maybe. Oops. So they have the lower cost. So, um, I was they have the lower cost. They profit on their business. Okay, they may they, uh, make a profit. A profit on their business. There. On their. On. There. Da. No, there. There. And there. Mm -hmm. Their business. business. Okay. One other. They have a good story. We with the guys. We have a good history with, with their client. Decline. Okay. Oh, uh, um, they post, have customer lies is the same. They, uh, they have a saving. They have they saving. Have, uh, uh, Saving se escribe. Can you spell it? Can you spell it? S. A. B. A. B. No, a V. Uh -huh. I. N. I. N. G. S. The same yes. savings. They have saving only that for the for a sign. I think okay. <laughs> I, I think personal is for plurals, but let me check. But the, the right yes. is, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. They have, then let me check. Yes. 
training. Per staff. They have a staff training or personal training. Training. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yeah. Okay. You um. Quieren quieren un personal eh, preparado, verdad? Ah, uh -huh. exacto. Uh -huh. Capacitado. Train personal, yes, and personal train, yes, train personal, train, uh, vice versa, train personal. A train personal. Yeah, train personal. Solo, solo cambien ahí la posición, bro. Uh -huh. Le borro la T. Me la llevé. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What? But uh, what other requirements? We going to evaluate. Hmm. Mm. Uh, they have the the equipment necessary to the operation mm -hmm. or to the service it tiene el equipo necesario mm -hmm. para el servicio yes i agree they have um sería they have uh, a necessary equipment or uh, resource maybe okay they have uh, a resource for uh -huh. resources. Mm -hmm. They have <clears throat> a resources in each in each area in each. Uh, como para decir que en, en las diferentes áreas de oferta. In if different areas. Areas. Al principio mencionamos una palabra que no era aérea, sino que era como. Service? Algo dijo. Ajá. De, que esté seguro que sea un, a good environment because you need a good quality in the product. Yes, yes. And that would be the next part. No? Okay. The next step. Ah. Uh, the number four is environment of storage. That's correct. Uh, a good environment. Yes. Uh, uh, we need we need we need to use another word yes for for yes to to establishment the the the, the that would be the um. The, the, the covered the, 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 the condition of the, of the warehouse. Yes. The good, the, the, the good condition. The good condition. Okay. Okay. The good condition. The good condition of the warehouse. Okay. The next one. The route. The route of the deliveries. That will be. Uh, check the route of the deliveries. The, it, it, what do you think about the Quantities the of the containers. The quantities of Four. containers the, or the numbers. It's the same of the warehouse. I, I, I'm taking. I'm take, I'm talking about the the, the trucks. Name, the trucks. Uh huh. The. But I don't know if this is uh, relevant. For example. Yes, yes, it's relevant because you need to to verify the, the, the good condition of the product. Yes. Mm. 
Another. We could talk about the uh, the sucursales. The retailers, or on the same point, no. Or we we need to talk only for the delivery company, or only focus for the delivery company, no for the uh, the same uh, place. Yes, yes. The thing is that they are financial stable, they have a great, great preference. They have experience in the country in which to do businesses. They have no question. We they, can put that. experience in the in the country in the country but no 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 say they have experience in the country but in this not in country. Country. in this uh-huh But not. Uh -huh. In ours. Okay. A ver. Quiero ver. O puede ser. They offer internal services. But no. No sé. No lo sé. They. Mejor puede decir national. Mm -hmm. They offer a national Quiero ver they have a uh, GPS and for what? In freight transportation. Mm. This is a requirement in these days. Okay. okay. So the method of the transportation Method is certificate, 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 no sé. El método de transporte, el transporte está certificado, no sé. Is? N-H-1. N-H-T.
Bien, tú las ah, que meto las neuronas ya. De ahí. Be considering special workers, workers with incapacities in their team. Other they incentivize they incentivize to write incentivize incentive incentive their employees their employees with, with some the, extra bonus with some extra bonus bonus for their job for their roles de los dos dos performance ya yeah, performance pero their job trabajo ya yeah. for their performance jobs performance job finish finish yeah <laughs> they take a picture about this for yeah. it, for any problem. No se me viene, espérame la palabra. No. Ay, no. They have um a uh, a document and procedures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A document. A document. They have documented procedures in their company. I see, because they have documenting procedures. Ah, for example, that may be uh, another uh, the personal uh, or, or uh, security, how se llama esa? Uh, uh, ocupación profesional, o sea, que tenga la seguridad de la ocupación profesional, que le incluya. Um, ah, ese es operational safety. Uh -huh. Ya es. Entonces sería 3PL have a operational safety for the employees. Uh -huh. uh, operational safety program. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. O system. Sistema o programa. Bueno, dejémosle programa. Sí, sí, programa. <laughs> Okay, and the last one, 3 p.m. Have a good recognition. 
-huh. O ya estaba en la anterior. Super have a Ah, uh, say they have experience in the countries in which you do business, but no mention. Ah, uh, podríamos poner el lugar de reconocimiento. Podríamos. Ah, uh, bueno. Eh, the 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 party eh, can be include in your eh, quotation service. Eh, three recommendation. Ah, pero la vez pasada dijo que no era necesario. Uh -huh. And they, uh -huh, they have great reference. It's, it's, it's kind of... It's a, uh -huh. Uh -huh. And including the last, the last box. Okay, they entonces have great have, uh, 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 another one. Mm -hmm. Jupiter have a, uh, I don't know. Ah, podríamos poner que, que Jupiter. The structure is good. Good labor and environment. Yeah, I think yes. there is a good labor and environment. Yes. Okay. The last one. About. How much would be? Only 10 or 11, 12? 10 or 15. 10. I got a 10 or. Yes, 10. Something. Okay. One more. We need two one. more. We, we, we need two or one more. Peter. Yes. That's probably 12 sentences or 10? 12, 12, the 12. 12, okay. Just... Ah, okay. Okay, very nice. We need two more. Um... Okay. So we need to talk about um, I don't know. Well, I think I think they take to the good route, no? The good the good route to the labor is um the best route. Uh, the, the, the best route for delivery. Uh tracking of delivery. Yes, yes, I, I, I will yes. focus to the to the to the to the to the, to the delivery to check yes. to the to the best route to delivery. The best route. <laughs> okay, but the other is the, the tracking of the delivery. The tracking. Yes. Mm -hmm. A good tracking of the delivery. The meeting is specific with the tracking. I think that this is the number to the packages. Yes. That you need to check. Yes. And and I or talk about uh, the, for the route for the way for the yes, street yes. that no. we for the way. that that we uh, yes that that we need to go. For uh, to uh, deliver or delivery or product uh, and on time, no, and yeah. and the track it. Uh, I I think or I know that is a, a one number specific that you will check the number in and the map, no. I think or or correct me. I I I, I don't sure. It's correct. It's correct. That's correct. Okay. Uh, I don't know what, what, what do you think about this? Uh, uh, about the, the way, the current way or the current route for the, uh, to deliver it for product, no?
Okay, do you finish already? Maybe. <clears throat> okay, so so. Very nice, kid. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Okay, very nice. Uh, did you all finish activity? Yes? Yes, sure. <clears throat> In our group, yes. Okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, um, just in order, to, because we're almost in to finish the class. Um, remember that we have to finish uh, the activities according to to the task that we have to take in the class. So for we, it's really important to practice. I don't know if the, the noise of the dogs bothers you a little bit. No? No, teacher. Okay, very nice. Because the dogs here in my, in my neighborhood are crazy right now. Okay. Um, well, the, the tasks that we have in the class are, are really important for you because it's the time when you have to practice, right? Okay, um, I hope from you in order to take the time in order to practice with this because it's, it's really necessary uh, in order to uh, dominate the language according to the practice. Remember that uh, the exactly time that you have in order to practice is here in the class, right? Okay, um, of course, remember that um, there are some extra information that I'm giving to you. Uh, for example, trying to be more specific with simple past, try be, to be more specific with, uh, uh, with the, from this case of the conditionals, trying to explain past progressive because I'm, I'm explaining past progressive comparatives and all of those stuff are extra information that I'm trying to give in, uh, in this case to you, right? So, but, um, what I want you is to be like, like in the case of taking notes, trying to put it into practice because it's an effort to give you extra information and that extra information is for you in order to practice, right? Not to just receive the class and don't take notes and don't remember about anything. So I hope you to put into practice always and to remember that the extra information that I give you because I do it in order to help you because you are intermediate level and I hope for you in order to have a good English level at the moment of speaking, at the moment of writing. Okay, so why I say this? Because remember, you are free to do whatever you want because you're an adult and I cannot say to you what to do. But um, it's a matter of learning. It's a matter of process. So um, another thing is that there are some of you that have uh, a low percentage of assistance. So you don't need um, another thing to do just to be in class from the beginning to the end. So you, if you have lost many classes, what you have to do is not to miss one of the classes more because the minutes are really important with this platform because the assistance is taken by the minutes you get into the platform. So you need to be here in the class uh, from the beginning to the end in order to have the time correctly, the minutes necessary in order to um, get the next model. If you don't uh, get the, the, the minutes necessary or the percentage that is the minimum in order to get another uh, model, you're gonna be uh, in problems, right? So you need to be in the class from the beginning to the end. Of course, remember that in order to work in the in the platform, it's really necessary too because it's the way that I can like 
take and handle the situations in order to work with the weeks that we have in the practice, okay? So I tell this because it's necessary for you in order to work for the next semester because it's the time that makes you, um, that, that you are hitting the platform that makes you give a correct percentage in order to be able to take the next model. So it's important for you to be active. Um, remember, uh, be careful at the moment of uh, taking the class. And if you're not doing something else, just being a listener, be careful with the moment that you are receiving the class and be careful that um, not to uh, let your phone get the noise at the moment of a practice and not to get the bad situation of taking the camera on and maybe you're not in a correct place, okay? Because remember, all these classes are getting recorded. So they upload it to the platform and we uploaded the class in YouTube too. So try to be careful with the with the camera on your phone in order to be not to be like in, in a situation that you can be like regretting about the situation. Okay. So I tell this because it's it's a, uh, necessary. It's something that um, I have to do because uh, in the office they asked me to do it in order to um, be careful of the advantage. Remember, this is, is an opportunity you have because you're an employee and you receive a discount in the East. So is are your earnings that aren't here, but in this case, they become in the English class. So try to take advantage of it, okay? Very nice. Okay, um, I'm gonna start uh, calling to you by the name. And as soon as you listen your name, please tell me present, okay? Okay. Okay, awesome. Uh, I don't know if you have any question about what I said. No? No, too sure. No, too sure. Okay, very nice. There are some of you that are really responsible with the classes, with everything, and that's good. And I, I really appreciate. And I noticed the ones that sometimes they got problems, right? But um, try to be and to make an effort from the rest of the model or from the next of the classes in order to be active because you need the minutes, right? You need the minutes, you need the uh, necessary time in order to get the next model, okay? I don't want you to miss the opportunity to be in the next model because you miss some minutes. So be careful, okay? Okay. Adela Trinidad Gonzalez Consuegra? Present. Good. Aminta René Figueroa de Manzano? Present. Very nice. Belén Batre Garcia? Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Present. Very nice. Debbie Yasmin Giron Ramirez. Present. Very good. Um, give me a chance here. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Present. Okay. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Okay, very nice. Jose Roberto Martinez Bernabe. Present teacher. Okay. Leticia Guadalupe Garcia de Miranda. Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Very nice. Oscar Anulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Very nice. Rosemary Ventura del Guello. Rosibel del Carmen López. Present teacher. Very nice. Salvador Augusto Rivas. Present, mister. Very nice. Sonia Iveta Barenga. Present. Okay, very nice. Sonia, uh, you have to stay with me after the class finish, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemus. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Okay. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Okay, very nice students. Uh, thank you to be in the class. See you tomorrow in the same hour in the same channel, okay? Perfect. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. -bye. Thanks. Bye, -bye.
Give me a second, Sonia. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. Okay, Sonia. This is in a space, especially for you, in order to um, explain you something about the topics. If you have any doubt about the topic, si tiene alguna duda sobre los temas, este es un espacio, verdad, para que usted me pueda decir, teacher, en esto, en esto, en lo otro. Okay. Um, I get confused with the zero conditional and the first conditional. Okay, zero conditional and the first condition. Okay, can you watch the screen? Yes. Okay. Zero conditional. Okay, with the zero conditional, what I need to remember is that I'm going to talk and I'm going to work with it with simple present. Lo que tengo que recordar es que voy a trabajar con el presente simple en las dos oraciones, ¿verdad? Y que los condicionales llevan dos oraciones que van unidas ya sea por una coma o por un conector, ¿verdad? Que en este caso puede ser el if o puede ser el when. Bueno. Ok, entonces el cero condicional me sirve a mí para hablar sobre cosas reales. Cosas que yo puedo hacer, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces quiere decir que por si ejemplo yo quiero hablar de... Eh, una causa y un efecto, ¿verdad? o una causa, un resultado, ¿verdad? Y, un, y una causa, o una causa y un resultado, utilizo el cero condicional. ¿verdad? Utilizo los condicionales. Tiene que ver una razón, ¿verdad? o un motivo, y una causa para que algo pase. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, ¿verdad? Y a Lorena, por ejemplo. If Lorena, oh my God, here. If Lorena works hard, comma, she gets more money. Okay. Aquí tenemos la primera oración. Si Lorena trabaja fuerte, si trabaja bastante. Okay, bien, acá la tenemos y tenemos, mire, presente simple. ¿Por qué, verdad? Porque aquí tenemos el verbo y como estamos hablando de Lorena, que es tercera persona, lo utilizamos con S. Con S. Works, ¿verdad? Ok. Hasta donde está la coma, aquí es la primera oración. Esta es la causa, ¿verdad? Que si Lorena trabaja fuerte, es la razón, ¿verdad? Ahora, veamos el resultado si Lorena trabaja fuerte. Y aquí dice, miren, she gets more money. O sea, que agarra más dinero. En otras palabras, va a ganar más, ¿verdad? Entonces, gets también es presente simple, miren. Tanto en la de arriba como en la otra. Las dos son presentes simples. Y aquí tenemos el gets porque estamos hablando de tercera persona, miren. Entonces, yo utilizo este tiempo con el presente simple. Ahorita lo hice con terceras personas, pero yo puedo trabajar con el I, con el you, con el we, con el they, con el he, con el she. ¿verdad? Eh, usted decide con cuál trabaja. Lo importante es que usted tiene que recordar y manejar la estructura del presente simple en todas sus facetas, tanto como en negativo, como afirmativo y con todos los sujetos. Para saber cómo va. Si va en tercera persona, recuerde que los verbos sufren modificaciones, que puede ser S, puede ser ES, ¿verdad? o que puede ser, por ejemplo, eh, IES, con lo, las reglas que le di al inicio del módulo, ¿verdad? ¿Se recuerda? Ok, ahí es cero conditional. ¿Estamos claritos hasta ahí? Sí, ok. Cero condicional solo para acciones. Eh posibles. 
No, eh, eh, para acciones reales. Reales, reales. Ok, para acciones reales, o sea, acciones que van a pasar. Ok, que digamos que es una causa y un resultado. ¿Hasta ahí estamos bien? Sí, sí. Sí. Ok, very nice. Ahora vamos con la siguiente. Con la siguiente estamos hablando del first condition, ¿verdad? First condition. Ok. Cuando hablamos de first conditional, acá estamos hablando que utilizamos simple present y que utilizamos future. Ya sea con el will o con el be going to. Give me a chance. Okay. ok. Acá es donde tenemos lo que nosotros llamamos el first condition. Y acá se, se deriva por dos tipos de oraciones. Tenemos el presente simple, a simple present, y tenemos el future, que puede ser ya sea con el will o el be going. To. Will or be going, to, right? Ok, pero ¿en qué momento utilizo el simple present? El simple present va a ir siempre con la que lleve el conector, ya sea el if o ya sea el when, when ¿verdad? Y el future, ya sea con el will o con el go, va a ser siempre el result. Siempre va a ser el, el resultado. Ahora, este lo utilizamos cuando hablamos de Posibles resultados futuros. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, if I go to bed late, coma. Mira, ahí tenemos la condicional, ¿verdad? Con el if y llevamos el, ver, eh, llevamos el verbo, eh, la estructura, perdón, del presente simple. Mire, if I go to bed late, si voy a la cama tarde o si me duermo tarde, ¿verdad? Veamos cuál puede ser el futuro resultado posible, ¿verdad? Acá utilizo, I will be tired tomorrow. O, I will be tired the next day, por ejemplo. Si me voy a dormir tarde, estaré cansado el próximo día o el siguiente día. Entonces acá ya es simple present y el future. Esa es la diferencia, que ya no utilizo dos simple present, sino que un simple present en future. O sea, la diferencia en estos es que cuando hablo del zero conditional, hablo de resultados en presente. Ambos. ¿Verdad? La condición en presente y el resultado en presente. Cuando utilizo el first conditional, ¿verdad? Lo que hablo es que el resultado que hago ahorita, perdón, la, la, la situación que hago ahorita, me va a generar un posible resultado futuro. ¿Verdad? Entonces, lo que hago hoy me da una posibilidad mañana, ¿qué es lo que pueda pasar? Entonces, ¿question? No. no, no. Ah, bueno. Ajá. Al usar I will and I going to. Ah. Be... Ok, recordemos que cuando utilizamos el, uh, el will o el be going to, ambos significan lo mismo, significan lo mismo totalmente. Si yo utilizo el will o be going to, es la misma, el mismo significado. La diferencia es que cuando yo utilizo el will es porque a, a veces son cosas que he decidido en el momento, que no estaban planeadas, ¿verdad? Pueden ser también situaciones como, por ejemplo, una predicción, situaciones de algo que no estoy seguro que pase. Es una probabilidad. If I buy a lottery ticket, I will, I will win the lottery. 
es una posibilidad, no es algo real, ¿verdad? Que va a pasar. O, o no tan seguro que se pase. Cuando usted utiliza el be going to, ahí usted habla de algo más específico. O sea, algo que usted está seguro que va a pasar. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, if I get wet, por ejemplo, si me mojo, ¿verdad? I get the flu. Si me mojo, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? I get the flu. Está en el zero conditional. ¿Cómo la convierto en futuro con el, con el be going to? If I, I get... Ajá. I going to... Flu? No, I going to... Get the flu. I'm going to get the flu, ¿verdad? Y ahí diría, voy a enfermarme, ¿verdad? De la, de la gripe o de la influenza. Entonces, el will, el be going to, es en eso. El will es cuando algo no está seguro de pasar y el be going to cuando usted está seguro de que algo va a pasar de esa manera. Ok, ¿hasta ahí alguna question? No, ya me queda más claro. Ok, very nice. Entonces estamos, Ivette. See you tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, see you tomorrow, teacher. Thank bye you. Bye bye. Good night.